Welcome to Julia in the Garden and part two of setting up my garden bullet journal for 2024. In part one, I did the index, calendar pages, spreads on the moon and rain, goals, houseplants, and wish lists. In this video, I will be continuing with spreads on my various garden areas, such as the potager and the berry garden, and ending with pages on birds and pollinators in the garden. And I will be listing as many supplies as I can in the description box below. This first spread is the beginning of a section for my potager, which is my kitchen garden where I grow fruits and vegetables, herbs, and flowers. I am attaching two maps of the space here so that the pages can open outward. I am actually planning a renovation or expansion of my potager, which will probably take a couple of years to complete. So the left side is a sketch of my vision completed, and I will make notes next to it on the steps to get there. The right side is the map of the current space and how I will use it this year. I will be making more videos about the changes in the potager, so subscribe and keep an eye out for those. I want these front pages to be a decorative introduction to the potager section, but I'm a little unsure as to what to put here, so I am moving on and we'll come back to them. This spread is for my herbs in the potager. One of my first changes will be to move my perennial herbs to the beds around my quince tree. This past year I had basil, squash, and beans in that location. I am assigning one bed for culinary herbs, two for medicinal herbs, and one for edible flowers. Although there is of course overlap in these categories. On the sides, I am noting herbs that I want to grow in each of these sections. I will probably wait to figure out exactly where each plant will go when I am transplanting and planting this spring. Then I can add them to my sketch here. For decoration along the top, I am drawing in hanging herb bundles with Archer and Olive acrylographs. Continuing the section for the potager, this spread is for fruits and vegetables. It is very similar to the spread I made in my 2022 journal, I can link that video here, where I will have columns for February through November and rows for the different crops. Then I can mark when to sow inside, direct sow, transplant, and harvest and also when to fertilize with fish emulsion, which I don't do for all of the crops, but a few need that extra nutrition. I listed the fruits and vegetables I may grow this year in alphabetical order. 
There are a few that I may not grow for this year, as with my expansion renovation plans, I'm going to be dealing with a little bit less space. I also used acrylographs for the vegetable sketches. There will be a video coming up where I will go through the fruit and vegetable seeds I plan to grow this year, and I will talk more about the varieties as well. I do grow pretty much all of these from seed. Some years I will pick up broccoli and Brussels sprout starts, but that's about it. The next page is very similar, but for cut flowers. As with the vegetables and fruits, I will be growing most, but probably not all of these this year. I tried to sketch some of my favorite flowers from this past season, snapdragons at the top and scabiosa or pincushion flower at the bottom. This page only includes annuals, which I mostly grow from seed, well, a few I grow from corms, but I do have some perennials that I harvest flowers from around the property, such as daffodils, peonies, and roses. Now I'm coming back to the first potager spread. I sketched out some plants I will be growing, inspired by artwork in the picture book Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt, which is by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Then I brought out the watercolors. I have included potatoes, tomatoes, borage, green beans, thyme, purple basil, marigold, and a sunflower. I am trying to emulate the color of the Pro-Cut Plum Sunflower, which is one of my favorites. This page will be a simple notes page to complete the potager section. I am now starting a section of pages for what I call the orchard side of the house, starting with a spread for the berry and rose garden. I started this garden space with some blueberries in 2018, and now it has raspberries, honeyberries, a blackberry fence, and a circle in the middle with roses and strawberries. I am adding washi tape at the edge of this page, as I do for several pages throughout the journal. It helps me find those specific pages and sections faster. I am including a sketch of the space on a separate piece of paper taped in, 
One, because I like how it looks, and two, because then I can switch it up if I want to. On the other side, I put boxes for to-dos and notes. The woodland garden is one of my newest spaces. I am creating it behind the berry garden. This past year, I planted birch trees, a blue spruce, and a pair of junipers. And I just placed an order with Fedco Trees for a few more things to be planted this year. I am really excited to show you. This spread is very similar to the berry garden spread, except that I added a box for plants to add, and it is obviously decorated differently. My hope for this space is to create like a curated woodland path, and also to provide more cover and food for birds and pretty things for us to look at as well. Moving on to the orchard, I have divided the orchard into what I'm calling the solar orchard, which has the slightly older trees and is near the solar canopy, and then the play orchard, which is a space that includes my kids' playset and sandbox and such, and has a, a few older elders, but mostly apricots and apples that were planted this past season. Our orchard includes apples, peaches, apricots, elders, some berry bushes, and lots of flowers. This time I am cutting the boxes for to do and plants to add out of different paper so that I can then lift them up and include notes underneath. The sticker placement wasn't working for me, so I changed both the sticker and the placement. I am hoping to focus more energy on this space this year, as the grass has really encroached into the beds. So I'm hoping to redo the outside lines and make a cleaner edge, and then maybe add a path in the middle out of a different material, possibly a pallet walkway. And I also plan on adding more pollinator plants to the area this year. Under to do, I am adding notes on pruning trees. Under the other is the holistic tree spray recipe from Michael Phillips holistic orchard book. As I mentioned, the play orchard has mostly trees that were planted this past year around my children's playset. I do want to make a new bed around one of the apricot trees and some of the elders that were already there and add a bunch of herbs and pollinator plants to it. This spread is for our fire pit area. It is low on the priority list of spaces to work on. However, I have been dreaming up ideas and I need a place to record them. And who knows, if time and resources appear, we may work on it this year. I 
I did add an extra section here for materials and furniture as that is what will mostly be needed first in this space. Okay, we're at a new section of the journal and this is for the garden beds around the house. But instead of creating a full spread for each space, I have made a pocket for my sketches in the front and then each space will get one page. I am also cutting down the sides of the pages and marking them with washi tape to distinguish this section. I believe all of the washi tape and stickers I'm using for this section are from the Vintage Rose set from Notebook Therapy. These boxes will be to-do and plants and supplies lists, and below there is room for a little bit of sketching or drawing of the space. I worked on these garden beds around the house quite a bit this last season, and there is still more I would like to do. It will take several years to get to my vision, which is actually fine with me because it's really fun to work on. Here is a new and different kind of spread. This is for my birds that I see in the garden. I really want to encourage and support them, so I am listing the basic things that they need. I intend to do a video or even a series of videos on birds in the garden as I have been doing some research and would love to share what I found with you. The stickers here are from two places. One is a birds little sticker book I got that's a recollections brand from Michaels and the other is from the beautiful nature anatomy book there's like a sticker book that goes with it and I will link both the book and the stickers below
The other side of the page has space for me to record the birds I see in the garden. And I also put a little piece of paper for birds I want to attract. So far, chickadees are on the list. The final spread we will work on in this video is for my pollinators. Again, I want to be a safe space for pollinators, so I have been researching what they need. I am making three circles for three main types of pollinators, bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds, and I am noting some of their specific needs. I am also making a space to record the ones that I can recognize. I do want to make sure that I am providing for my native bees along with the honeybees and again look for more videos on this. Quick note that we do have some bats, and I know that bats are sometimes pollinators as well, but I am not sure about the ones in my area. I will have to do some more research. And there we are. I will be having fun filling these pages in with my ideas. The next part of my journal that I need to work on is my winter section, and I need to get on it as we are in the middle of winter already. Please like and subscribe, and happy gardening, friends.